And more troubling news on Chicago Public Schools, this time what's being called a culture of racism. That's the claim from some African-American CPS employees filing complaints against administrators at a Pilsen High School. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into the complaints at Benito Juarez Community Academy. Kids be kids. Retired teacher Rose Moore said she felt like an outsider at her predominantly Hispanic West Side School. Ooh, it was so toxic when I left, I barely could walk. She painfully looked back at the time one of her students called her the N word in class, and she says the issue was swept under the rug. Oh, Miss Moore, she didn't mean nothing by it, Miss Moore. She didn't mean, you know, that they just say that. Moore retired in 2012, but says she's speaking out now on behalf of the current teachers who feel like they can't speak up. And they kept harassing me and they kept picking at me. The CBS 2 investigators have learned that Moore's experience is not unique. We've heard from several African American teachers, current and former members of the staff and even students who say that not enough was done to promote tolerance and inclusion. Former clerk Alonda Smith Naris is complaint and at least two others is being investigated by the district's Equal Opportunity Compliance Office. I'm the only African American clerk at the school. Court filings show that at least two other Benito Juarez employees went as far as filing discrimination complaints in federal court. Smith Naris says she's speaking up now in the hopes of a culture change. You act like this toward the kids. That shouldn't be accepted as any, any place. CPS told us that the district takes any accusation of discrimination seriously and in accordance with their policy, they have opened an investigation. Still no response from the school's principal tonight. Live in the control room, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Brad and Erica. Megan, thank you.